Welcome to today's video, where I'm going to be sharing with you the two clicks that have proven absolutely invaluable to me in Smartsheet. I'm gonna be walking you through a couple of different use cases of how to implement this on your own account and some suggestions along the way. So what are, the, what are these clicks you're probably wondering? So if I just show you my project plan, I've built this out ahead of this video. It took me quite a lot of time and I've got a lot of things, little, little customizations in here uh, that have been really, really useful. And I actually want to copy these across two other sheets. Let's just say I'm running a, running a portfolio of projects and they all are going to be using this particular project plan. Of course, there may be some subtle differences that are required and maybe a few uh, minor alterations, but for the most part, as an example, in this project plan, we have the core phases. We've got the statuses we, we want, we've got the start and end date, etc. So the two clicks I'd like to suggest to you today are heading to the workspace where that particular uh, resource is held. So in this example, it's this one. Right click on your mouse and save as new. And by default, you're going to see that the sheet is named copy of. And that can be useful in terms of your reference just to get an understanding of exactly what it is. But this is where I would do something like this. I would change this to project plan template. And I probably would even take it a step further. So first I would save it and then I would probably create a new workspace. And let's just say in this example, we could call this templates and I would bring this in here. So if I go back to uh, what I've just created, I'm gonna drag it into this particular uh, workspace, which I've just, just created. And when I open that up, so remember this is how I did it. The two clicks are right click, save as new. They're the two clicks you need to take and then obviously you need to save it as well. You, I could probably have said three clicks, let's be honest. But this is an exact copy and I am, I now have a project plan that I can work from time and time again. And we can just replicate that process. You know, we could do this. We could then do, of course, we will be changing the name, but we've even got a copy of a copy of, but we could keep doing this. So let's just say this was project A, project B, project C. Now you could even, you know, so, so one of the main tips here is to really optimize the first template that you do. That's very, very important because it will save you a lot of time. So in this example, um, you know, say this was only, this task was only relevant to uh, one particular project plan, I would probably remove that out before we did the copy uh, or, or the save as new as you like, um, because I, I don't want to go into each one and have to delete it off, if that makes sense. So that's the first use case, is, is the uh, save as new for sheets. Really, really beneficial, particularly if you're managing projects at, at scale. So the second uh, option, or a second use case for this, where it's really, really useful, is with reports. So I've created this report ahead of recording in the interest of time. And this particular report is looking at the, um, well, we pulled in the task, description, status, assigned to pretty much every column. But let's say we need to create different reports, say for a dashboard, that show the different statuses. So here is what I would do. I would go into the, I'd, I'd create the report first and foremost. So here we've got the sheet, we're pulling it from, I've pulled in the columns and we, at the moment, we essentially don't have a filter in place. There is, it's saying anything that's not blank. So let's say we want to do it to do these, these tasks by status. Well, what I would do, and here are the two clicks again, right click, save as new, completed tasks. Then I would go into that report and I would simply change the filter. So in this example, we would have is one of, so that's the qualifier we need. And then I would just select complete. Now, if I, this will automatically save. If I go back, you will see this is just the completed tasks. Now we can easily replicate the report into various different variations. So we could have, sorry, I forgot what status I set up here. So we've got, um, we've got complete, what were the other options we had? In progress, not started. Okay, so what we could do, right click, save as new, in progress task. Uh, tasks and then I'll de delete that out. I can save it in here and this time you'll notice everything is in place when it loads. Um, everything is in place. All I need to do this time is to just switch the filter from 
oh, I messed that up somehow, from complete to in progress. Now we've got a report that we can you know, build into a dashboard or just you know, send to our stakeholders or use as we see fit. So as you'll see, that saved so much time, but the key to this is all about optimizing the initial template or the initial uh, grid or report that you're working from, but it just saves so much time. So spend the time up front, think about what you can kind of use across your account. It's really, really useful for templates. I'd also recommend having something like a separate workspace to store these files, maybe even with subfolders. But yeah, this has saved me so much time. It's been really, really valuable. So I wanted to share it with you today. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments about what I've discussed here, then drop it down below. Uh, and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and check out my Smartsheet training playlist. I've got, I think, over 90 videos at the time of recording. So if you're new to the tool, uh, then there's everything there that you can use to, to kind of learn about it. And also have a Smartsheet Fundamentals course, which teaches you uh, all of the basics and all of the core functionality and a number of other courses as well. If you are interested, I will drop a link in the description below. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent